Steve's parcel. And another note from Tess. Hey Em, here are Steve's contracts. I bet you're in the mood for some light reading. And now without sarcasm, really, I must admit the energy here is contagious. Is Adit actually going to take off? See you soon. Tess. Good morning, Miss Weiss. Uh, good morning, sir. I didn't see you there. The name's Walter Morgan. I'm with the Postal Service. I left you a message on your answering machine earlier this week. Ah, yes, I remember. Miss Weiss, if you could follow me into the office. I would like to ask you a few questions. Are you familiar with the Postal Service policies? To be honest, no. It says in Chapter 11, Section 3, First Paragraph, and I'll paraphrase, it is forbidden to use Postal Service property for personal gain. Oh. Okay, sounds reasonable. Miss Weiss, I'm aware that you've only just begun working here. But I trust that you do not take the responsibilities of a postal worker lightly. No, of course. I mean, uh, yes, sir. The Postal Service puts its employees under the highest level of scrutiny. I advise you to answer the following three questions truthfully. A yes or no will suffice. Do you know Frank Coleman? Yes. Have you ever given him envelopes, or received envelopes from him, that weren't postmarked? Yes. Are you aware that Frank Coleman wages bets on baseball games? No. That will be all. Thank you for your cooperation. You're welcome. Top of the morning, P.O. Complaints in Monday mornings. The perfect combo. P.O. Positive for that P. Take it away, Bert. Morning, J.R. I'm afraid it's a pet P from me again. People who come camping here outside the season just bugger off already. <laughs> <laughs> Loud and clear, Bert. Just like today's weather. Hey, here's a package for you. Oh, thanks so much, babe. Listen, I owe you an apology. Apology? For what? I was Kurt. Just plain Kurt. And there you were, just trying to talk to me. You deserve better. Apology accepted. Let's move on. So, any idea what caused it? Business is slow. More than slow. I mean, the Flick Shack is in real trouble. That movie box kind of was my last-ditch marketing effort. Nothing's worked so far. I'm sure it'll be fine. Chin up. Anyway, enough whining. Let me make up for my stupid behavior and reward you for dealing with my moods, my lady. Reward me? Yep. I've got... Ta-da! Coupons! They're one of the few perks this job has. I get to take myself and a plus one to a free movie of my choice at the new cinema in Astoria. Valid tonight only. Thanks, but wouldn't you rather take someone else? Someone a bit more movie savvy? Well, you're in luck. I don't really know anyone else. So what'll it be, Missy? You in or you out? Sorry, um, I... Aw, you're no fun. 
Guess I'll ask Lori or something. Great. She'll love it. Anyway, gotta get back to it. Bye. Bye. Hmm, these look like bills. It's lighter than I thought. on earth did these folks order? Nope. No answer.
Hey, Mr. Mackey, got another package for you. Ah, oh, Miss Weiss, good seeing you again. Yeah, getting bored with the mail yet? <laughs> Did your old man sell you on the job? <laughs> I'm still not convinced, but there's still time. There's always still time. Yeah, sure. I just wanted to say, it's good seeing you again after all these years, Mr. Mackey. Glad you're in good health. <laughs> well, it's good to see you back here as well. I always took you for a free spirit. Looks like you're finally settling down a bit. Don't know about that one. Well, I have to keep going. See you around, Mr. Mackey. Sweet Meredith. Hi there. Here's the mail. Thanks. On your own today? Sorta. Mickey's in the RV. He hardly slept last night. Said he had hallucinations of rotten fish in the RV. Did he have too much of the stuff that makes you feel funny? Well, actually, when I went outside this morning, there was this huge rotting lake trout right below our window. Totally grossed me out. How does something like that end up there? Ew, disgusting. I have no idea how that happened. Uh, hold on, Mickey's gotta read this. Mickey, wake up, honey. Leave me alone, I'm still shit-faced. It's a letter from Damien. Oh, right, yeah, okay. Give me that. Looks like we won't be here much longer. Oh, really? Where are you going? We're going to Canada. We will be picked up this Thursday, early in the morning. What about the RV? Joan? Are you running your mouth again? I'm sorry, sweet Meredith. Gotta go. Hey, you know what? You should come by Wednesday. Our last night here. We'll build a campfire, have a drink, maybe a puff or two. You know, and talk about the meaning of life, of course. The complete outdoors experience. Gee, I don't know, June. June? Oh, please, sweet Meredith. I gotta run now. Be here Wednesday after sundown.
Excuse me, what's this all about? It's all about the mail. I'd appreciate it if parcels are not just dumped on the counter. I'd appreciate it if you'd act like a human being. You'd understand if you had any idea about what I'm trying to do here. Setting up a computer system to handle all the bookings is quite sophisticated. Are you sure you're not just playing a game? Yeah, I'm sure. Thanks for the mail. Bye. Got mail? No? Then why are you still here? Here's your mail. That's the last of them.
Hello? Hey, Meredith. How was your day at the office? Uh, I mean, mail truck. Oh, hey, Dad. It was a normal day. Nothing special. Okay. Your mom and I are waiting for the hotel bar to open. Thought we'd check in on you. Living it up, huh? Are you boozing every evening? <laughs> Easy now. It's just a nice convenience. We found a payphone at this bar. Oh, Mom's poking me. I guess she's mad I blew her cover. Here she comes. Hey, Meredith. Don't listen to Dad. We will only have one or two drinks. Hi, Mom. You sound a bit defensive. Not a good subject. Alcohol is fine, but I'm changing the subject. Have you met the new guy at the hotel yet, Matt? Yeah, I met him the other day. What a jerk. Ugh, I agree. He's one of the reasons why I won't miss working at the hotel. Anyway, how's life in good old P.O.? Not very eventful. After work, I watch TV and read books. Oh, honey, you should get out more. There must be something else to do besides that. Yeah, Mom, I know. I'll try. Okay, dear, I just want what's best for you. I know, Mom, but I'm all grown up. And now I'm changing the subject. Do you miss Providence Oaks? No, oh, Florida is fantastic. I think I might actually want to live here. The warmth of the sun, it's very easy to get used to. Oh, Dad is telling me to get back. Looks like the bar's open. Wonder what he's ordering this time. I'll get an Alabama slammer. <laughs> Alabama what? Alabama Slammers! Cheers! All right, here we go again.